Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video in a while, so I figured I would do this video super quick. It's, uh, it's going to explain how I write an M97 local subroutine, and as you can see in the picture, it's making four parts, and just kind of want to go through it with you. And as you can see in the slide, the G54 is my first part, and where the pen is pointing, it's M97, which is the local subroutine, which means it stays within the program, and it's telling it to jump to line 123. So the P code, you have to have a P code in order to it to read the line number, which would be the N123. And as you can see in this slide, it jumped down to line 123, and it's going to do the program that I wrote, and then it's going to wrap it back up home, and then you need an M99 to bring it back to uh, continue at the next part. Now, I put a M99 P50 after that, telling it to jump down to line 50. Do you need to do that? No. I, I write uh, my subroutines like that in case I have a piece of stock that is either short and you don't need to run that many so that's the reason I do that and okay as you see here I'm using the pin as my stop and it's going to continue to start the program it's going to do some roughing out on top and then it's going to rough out the front of the part and then it's going to rough out the back of the part and the reason being the stock is oversized and here is the routine for the, yeah, the subroutines again, just to show you. Now we're going to begin it. And here we are doing the G54. And now we're doing the G55. And I turned the coolant off so you can really see what's going on. And here we are at G56. And let's see here. Uh, now we're on G57. Okay. So that's that. So that completed that whole section of looping uh, codes for that section of cutter I wanted to use. Now I'm just going to do the same thing using this cutter. It's a smaller cutter and it's going to be doing a lot more profile passes. And I'm going to be still doing an M97 uh, subroutine call. And in this section I'm using cutter comp and spots to put in little chamfers all around. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to show everything. I just kind of want to give you the, the basic idea of what's going on. Okay, that's about it. I appreciate you watching the video. I tried to keep it short. I'll have more coming uh, soon. And uh, thanks again. Subscribe to my channel. And I guess I'm done talking. Okay, bye-bye.